Hello, this is my International from the channel Renoise on irc.esper.net. Um, okay, I'm just gonna stop talking in that voice now. Well, we'll go for skull snaps here. It's a new day. There we go. That's the shizit. Um, okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. This is different than normal. How? Hmm. That's too high. Go for about 80. Uh, two though. 90? Okay, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to use the gate in Renoise. It's a pretty powerful tool um, when you're doing breakbeat editing and stuff. Um, pretty much what it does is it monitors, it, it's kind of like a compressor in respect that it monitors the volume levels of the sound on the track that it's on. And um, if it gets to a certain level, it'll let the sound through, and if it goes below that level for a certain amount of time, it'll cut it off. So pretty much with a breakbeat, like all of the low volume areas, it can just chop off. Um, it's pretty much the opposite of a compressor in that respect. Like a compressor would bring the volume up when the volume goes low. This does exactly the opposite. So it's almost like what's known as an expander, except this is just like a, a harsh volume gate. Um, it's typically used for noise gating with guitars and stuff. Um, a lot of cheap distortion pedals have gates like this built in. What I'm going to use it for today is I'm going to try it on this breakbeat and see exactly what kind of effects I can get out of it. So as you can hear right now, um, on the default settings, I'm getting just a little bit of the breakbeat coming through. It's a bit, it's not nearly as much as I want. So I'm going to I'm gonna start playing the beat here, and I'm going to fool around with these uh, the parameters on the gate. First of all, I'm going to try messing with the threshold a bit, because that's, um, that's sort of the level that it's looking for in the incoming sound. So if I put it down, you get more of the breakbeat coming through. And it's still chopping off, you know, the areas in the middle there. So this is actually pretty good. I like where it is right now. Um, I don't really have to do much more. The attack um, is pretty much how long it takes to kick in. So it's at a, it's about a 5 milliseconds right now. So when the volume spikes, 5 milliseconds later, it'll start playing. Um, it'll hold it for about 20 milliseconds, because the hold is on 20. And then it'll release it over about a 200 millisecond range. So it'll like slowly ramp the volume down, or at least it should. Um, yeah, if I turn release down, it starts getting all choppy on me. If I turn release up, it kind of gets a reverby type effect going. So I'm going to keep it about 200, because, I mean, that's... I might put it at about 133. I don't know. Maybe 100. Okay, 100 sounds good. So now what I'm going to do... Um, the gate, by the way, is very useful if you're doing heavy music, um, industrial or anything. You can put a gate on a track like this, and then you can put distortion after it. And there you've got like a really, I don't know, gritty sounding beat coming out now. Um, if I take the gate off, you can hear it's got like way too much verb going on. It's just, it's filling, I don't know, it's got, it just sounds like it's in a huge arena now. I mean, especially if I turn the drive up, it just gets really like way too distorted. So. That's what the gate's really useful for. If you want to bring out like a really pounding type beat, I can turn the, the drive up on the distortion now pretty loud. And as you can hear, my voice is coming through. If I turn the gate off, you won't be able to hear my voice that well. It's going to be all distorted and crackly and shit. So, yeah. I'm taking up a lot of time here. This is going to be way too long of a YouTube video. Um, so I'm just going to fool around with this and let you hear what kind of stuff I can do with a basic break peak, just the distortion and some other internal DSPs in Renoise. Add some delay. I don't know if I like that. Uh, here. It's kind of got some swing to it. that, I don't like it. I'll turn down the sand, maybe. Yeah, I don't like it. Okay, um, I don't know. I could put some flange on it, whatever. Okay. 
Yeah, by the way, there's this little thing with a flanger here. If you turn the amplitude up really high, the delay starts getting all funky on you. If it's too low. So you've got to turn the delay up a bit to get rid of it. But I actually like using that as an effect sometimes. Just have it sort of bouncing in between the speakers. I kind of like that. It's kind of a glitchy effect. But anyway, I don't really like what the flanger's doing there. I'm going to stray away from the internal DSPs for once here. Um, I've got this nice chorus here called Classic Chorus that I like putting on stuff sometimes. You can hear how it really fattens up the drums there. Go through the presets. Then we can put an EQ after that if we want. Yeah. Either way, this is just an example of what you can do with the gate in Renoise. Here, I'll put some synth after that, just to give you a bit more of an idea. Ooh, we'll give it a peach. Yeah. Make it sound all nest like. We can just turn it off and on whenever we want, so it's like... That actually sounds pretty cool. I'm kind of liking that, actually. Yeah. Either way, the gate kind of makes it so the mix is a little bit tighter, you know? Which is kind of what I was trying to achieve. I don't know if I really showed you how to do that much in this. I can put a gate on my synth, too, if I want. See you later.